The late former finance minister is being praised for having contributed immensely to the country's economic policy direction post-apartheid. Mboweni served as Labour Minister before he became the first Black Central Bank Governor and later Finance Minister. He shaped the post-apartheid economic policy before he even joined, uh, he joined a, a, a government. He was instrumental in setting out the economic policy of a post-apartheid uh, government, including, by the way, championing the independence of the central bank even before the constitution was uh, uh, was written and Tito had a beautiful policy brain and uh, that beautiful policy brain could be felt across various aspects of economic policy from labor to trade and industry to finance to central uh, to central banking and his uh, departure would leave a very big vacuum in terms of economic policy discourse in South Africa. His former colleague at the National Treasury, Ismail Momoniat, says Mboweni became finance minister at a difficult time when he had to clean up the corruption that was entrenched after state capture. Our state-owned entities weren't working. They were, in fact, a huge drain on the fiscus, and that was impacting on the budget, on our debt-to-GDP uh, 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 and our deficits, which were very large as a result. And what he did was uh, to, to identify the need for us to grow the economy and to make structural reforms. So what he did was firstly uh, talk about the problem of what he called the hippopotamus, that the hippopotamus mouth was getting uh, or, or opening wider and wider. At the top, your expenditure was going up and at the bottom, the revenue was going down, so we're having huge deficits. And what that meant for us as a country, we were becoming more and more indebted to the point where it wasn't sustainable. Bowen's former lecturer remembers him as one of the finest brains that was behind many economic policies in South Africa and the globe. I remember in particular, during the 2008-2009 global financial crisis, hmm. Tito was one of the global experts that were asked by the IMF to review what happened in the United States with what were off-balance sheet, unsecured loans and transactions. And they ultimately recommended the need for global banks, including big, the biggest banks in the West, to, do, to undergo stress tests to make sure that they have enough liquidity, they have minimum reserves, and they can withstand any stress that comes. Boweni also served on a number of corporate boards when he retired from government. Boweni's funeral will be held on Saturday the 19th of October in Zanin, his hometown. Gloria Sefakomusi, SABC News, Johannesburg.